Hey, welcome back to my youtube channel in this video tutorial i'm going to show you how to create a simple animation like this so i'm going to walk you through everything step by step we're going to use three steps in order to achieve this subscribe if it is your first time let's jump into this so we are going to use canva to create this and we're going to use some ai tool in canva to generate our background so as you can see we have this background amazing background here and we actually going to create everything with canva and then generate this everything basically everything with canva so let's go ahead and then do that now when you open canva you basically need to use the canva pro in order to have access to the ai to to generate the image and canva offers you a 30 days free trial for the pro version so let's go ahead and click on create blank so we are creating a blank new video so go ahead and do that okay so when you open this it's just going to open in a blank new tab what you need to do is to generate your first background image so we go to apps so we go down here and then go to apps and we are going to search for magic media so search for that magic media so this is basically what we want so click on magic media and then we are going to use this to to actually generate our background image so i'll open this and now you see you have to enter some keywords over here so enter five plus words to describe whatever background image you want to generate so type up to five keywords that you want to use to generate whatever image you want to so just type in your keyword i have some keywords i want to use so i've pasted my own over here path in green garden flowers beds trees strawberries fruits so basically these are some keywords i've placed in there in order to describe what actually i want in order to get my background for my video okay or for my animation now when you do that go ahead and search for the star there are there are several styles option over here you can click on all and you can see all the star available over here just select whichever is going to work for you and then you go ahead and then use that for your design okay so these are the style i'm actually going to use the dreaming i'm going to use this for my own select that and then go ahead and then pick the aspect ratio so you have the square the landscape and the portrait in my case i'm going to pick landscape for my design or my animation so select that and then you can go ahead and generate your image it's going to take some time so let's do that so canva will generate a possible up to four images for you based on your keywords so you have to wait for that okay so you can see based on my keywords canva managed to generate about four different background images for me so i set a path in a green garden the flowers beds i want trees strawberries fruit and all that so you can see over here if i click on this i can bring this to my scene so if i enlarge this let me just enlarge this for you to see so you can see canva is able to generate this for me based on my keyword so i can enlarge this to actually cover my entire screen my video screen so this video by default is actually five seconds you can increase this if you want to so we now have our scene now we can add several images and things to this and then animate them so assuming you want to create more than one scene over here you can click on plus to add a separate page so i want to add two pages for this so i'll go for another scene i'll try and then probably go with this one add this so i have two scenes that i'm going to work with Okay, so this is basically what i'm going to do i'm going to enlarge this also to cover my screen and then also i can actually put some transition between the two so you can click here and then even add some transition there are some transition effects i can do that and then i can change the direction like this to this so i have my transition in that so now we want to add some other images so i want to add a school girl maybe walking through the path in my screen okay or in my scene so i'll go to element here and then search for school girl so i can search for school girl and then add that to my scene just go to graphics here and then you're going to get a lot of images you can use for your scene okay you can scroll down and i prefer to go with something like this and then i'll just click on that and then add it to my scene all i need to do is to actually go ahead and then resize this i can just resize this and i want to place it on the path like that now the next thing we want to do probably is to add animation there are several animation options that you can use and i'll be doing some complex videos on this particular ai tool so subscribe 
and let me know at the comment section if you enjoyed this video so you, know, you don't miss this kind of video so now let's try and animate this so when you select your object or your image just go to animation and then there's a new animation option here that you can use create an animation so now when you click on this you can see everything is bled the one left is what you've selected so we have to indicate where we want to create the path for animation so i'll just drag through this path like that like that and then when i release it you can see what is happening so it's going to animate through the path okay so we've done that we can go for the second scene go to the second scene like this and then we can go back to our element and then maybe probably look for another another, another school girl okay we can look for another school girl for the second path so i'm just going to pick something like this i'm going to pick this one add it here i'm going to add it resizes and I use the same method and then go towards animate and then click on create animation and then just indicate the path move it through the path like that and then it's going to move so if i do this you can see it's going to move through that path like that so we've created our animation we can do complex animation so i can play these two scenes for you to see so you can see what is going to happen we can add several objects to that and then animate them so you can have several pages at the moment i have only two pages now we have these two you can add some sound effect to this animation if you want to so if you want to add some sound effect maybe you want best to be making noise at the background you can just go ahead and then maybe search for something like that and then go to audio go to audio here and then you can add several audio effects so you can see money beds you can just search for that i can add that audio to it so this will actually be making noise at the background whilst my video play and i just want to sync this you want to sync your beat with your animation so you just go to beat sync so that's basically our last step and then go toward sync now and it's going to sync this with your animation perfectly perfectly so you're going to sync this with your animation perfectly so if i play this and then we can have that playing our background so this is very easy step a very easy step to follow in order to create animation like this i'll be doing more complex videos like this right here on this channel okay so when you are done with everything all you need to do is to go ahead and then download this as video so you can go to file you can go to share option here and then go to download and then from here you can just select this as p mp4 so that's video suggested video so you are going to download this as video so you can select this and then go to download and then download this you're going to download this it's going to take some time to download that so you can see it's been downloaded onto our computer our download is complete so let's play this and see so this is our final design is so this is basically how our final video is going to look like So like, subscribe for more videos like this and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorials. Bye bye.